In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the crossed treble crochet stitch. Really lovely stitch. If you used it with a bigger hook, I used a 5mm with a double knit yarn. If you used a bigger hook, you would get a much lacier, drapier yarn. But what you have here basically are trebles that cross over each other here and then little gaps in between. So basically all you need is double crochet and treble and chaining and you're good to go. So let's have a look at the tutorial. Hello my name is Karen Stangroom and welcome to Conquer Crochet, the channel for tips, tricks and techniques for conquering your crochet. Everything I talk about in today's video will be linked in the descriptions below. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss a single stitch. So if you're keen to get going with this video, give me a thumbs up and let's do this. So for this tutorial, I'm using a double knit yarn uh, in this lovely petrol colour. I'm going to be using a 5mm crochet hook. I have scissors to cut off my end, my needle to sew in my end and a stitch marker just in case I need to use one. So we're going to start off with a foundation chain. So to start that, we're going to make a slip knot. You can do this in whichever way you prefer. And our foundation chain is going to be made in multiples of three. So yarn over, pull through the slip knot is one, two, three, four, five, six. So pause the video now whilst you make your foundation chain in multiples of three and I will join you at the end. So I've made my foundation chain and I've chosen to do 21 for this sample piece. So we're now going to do our first row. So this is a two row repeated pattern. We have row one and then rows two and three are repeated throughout. Row one isn't going to be repeated. And just for your information, row one is going to be on the wrong side. So we're going to start row one by making a double crochet that is UK terminology, in US terminology that would be a single crochet. So we're going to make a double crochet in the second chain from the hook. So we don't count the one on the hook. So one, two, we're going into that chain there with a double crochet. We're then going to double crochet into each of those chains all the way down our foundation chain. So pause the video now whilst you do all your double crochets in each of the chains back down the row and I will join you at the end of row one. So I finished row one which was my double crochets back down my foundation chain and this is row two coming up now which is the first part of the two row repeater pattern. So to start this off then we're going to chain three, one, two, three and we're going to turn our work. This chain three is going to act as a treble so this counts therefore we're not going to be counting this stitch here when we're counting our stitches. Okay so we're going to start doing our cross treble stitches. So this one doesn't count so we're going to miss two uh, stitches so one, two and in the third one we're going to do a treble. We're then going to chain one and we're going to go back now to those two missed stitches and in the first missed stitch, making sure you're not going into the one that counts for this three chain here, so in the first missed stitch we're going to do a treble again. So to do that then we're going to yarn over, come in front of all the stitches we've made here and go into that stitch, yarn over and pull it back through underneath the treble we just made and you should have your three loops on your hook, yarn over through two, yarn over through two and that's the first cross treble stitch. If I bring that up a bit closer, this treble here crosses over that treble there. And we're going to miss two chains and so make sure we're not going into this one here because that relates to the treble that we did the first treble. So skip, skip, treble into the third stitch, 
chain one and then counting back one two we're going into that stitch with our cross treble there skip two one two make a treble in the third one chain one and then go back to that first miss treble uh, first miss stitch and do our treble in there so yarn over in through the front pull your yarn from the back all the way through and finish off the treble stitch and we continue that all the way down the row so skip two stitches treble chain one and then go back to your first miss stitch and do a treble in that stitch. So continue all the way down this row doing that pattern and I will meet you just before the end to show you what you need to do at the end and how to start row three. So pause the video now. So I've just done my last cross treble and I still have a double crochet to work into here and into that last double crochet we're going to do one last treble. That won't be a cross treble, it's going to be the treble that's going to help us keep the height all the way up that piece of work and keep nice neat straight edges. So the chain three there acts as a treble and the treble at the end and that's what helps keep the stitches nice and neat. So that was row two. Row three we're going to chain one. That chain one does not count as a stitch therefore we are going to work into that first stitch there. So this row is very similar to row one in that it's just double crochets. So we're going into that first stitch with a double crochet to into the top of that treble. We're going to go into the top of the next treble with a double crochet. And the next double crochet is going to be done through that chain space here where the trebles cross over we're going to do a double crochet through there. If you find you're struggling you'll probably find you're trying to go through the chain and we don't want to go through the chain we want to go through the chain space. So there's your double crochet there. Now the next one looks like it, it shouldn't be there it shouldn't be a, a chain space or something but that is actually the top of the treble here so we go into the treble into the next treble and then into the chain space and treble, treble, chain space and if you pull your work apart slightly you'll be able to see where those chain spaces are so chain space travel and travel. So pause the video now whilst you do your stitches all the way down this row. So remember you're doing double crochet into treble, treble and then into the chain space. Okay and I will join you at the end of the row where things are slightly different. Okay, so coming up to the end of the row now, so I've got treble, treble, chain space, and then the last two stitches you've got treble, so a double crochet into the treble, and then we have this three chain which counts as a treble, so we're going to go into the top of the three chain for the last stitch of the row, so one, two, three, we go into that stitch there, yarn over, pull through and do my double crochet there. And that's essentially the pattern. You have one row of cross trebles and then one row of the double crochets giving you the base for the next row. So we go back to row two and we chain three, one, two, three, turn our work. Remember that counts so we don't work into the first stitch. Skip, skip, treble. 
go back to the first skipped stitch, we chain one and then we treble into that first skipped stitch. Making sure we don't work into this one here, skip, skip, that's the one we're working into. Chain one and then go back to the first skipped stitch, crossing over with a treble. So you can pause the video, you can go back, rewind, have a look at the different rows, pause it as you're going through. Remember this tutorial is for you, you don't have to watch it all the way through from start to finish. It's one of those things you're learning a stitch, you can pause, do a bit, go back, watch it again, make sure you got it right. I'm just going to work up a few more rows now so that you can see how the pattern looks when you have a bit more of the repeated rows there and I will see you in a moment. So I've just worked up a few extra rows for you to see how the pattern works up. So it's really beautiful, you, you get a little bit of a drape. Had I used a bigger crochet hook I would have got more of a drape with this. If you're wanting a much more lacy pattern then make sure you're using a bigger hook to the one recommended. So you can see we've got these lovely sort of crisscross trebles here and then we have these little gaps in between. And quite a simple two pattern repeat doesn't look too strange on the reverse. So a really lovely pattern. So that's how to do the cross treble crochet stitch. I really hope you found today's tutorial useful. If there are any information that you need to find out about this video, have a look in the descriptions below where I post all the links to any freebies and other videos I think you might find useful. Don't forget if you have enjoyed this video to give me a thumbs up below. Don't forget also to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you've enjoyed it and you'd like to see more of my tutorial videos. There are two other videos on screen to help you on your crochet journey and I will see you over there. Thank you so much for joining me on this one and happy hooking!